Oh, well. No. Okay, we're on. I've got a friend this time. Um, okay, so we're now about to do some English, but as promised, before we do some English, I'm just going to choose the the, per the child of the video. So let me click down here. I can't do it because Floyd's on my lap. Hang on. Ooh. Let's see. The wheel of, of fortune is spinning. It is. It's Taylor May. Taylor May, um, you, are, you are a very, very sensible person to have in the class. I like having you in there. It's handy because um, when you've got a sensible person like you in the class, if I need a job doing, Taylor May can go and do that for me. What a wonderful person to have in a class. Well done, Taylor May. You are child of the video. <laughs> right. Okay. Ready, Floyd? So, for English, it's only going to be a little task, all right, but um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you a story, and um, then I'm going to ask you a couple of questions afterwards. So, when you've got the questions, you can go and you can write them on your, the answers on your whiteboard, and again, you can take a picture of it, or I think there's a way you can just write it on your device, on your grown-ups phone however you've got whatever you've got class dojo on and then that'll send to me as well I'm still being very impressed with how everybody's doing admittedly it's day one isn't it so I'm wondering if there's going to be so many people doing it tomorrow but um we'll see it's really really sunny in here at the moment so I'm hoping you can see me I can't really see my screen but if I'm squinting then that's why all right um that's why okay the story are you ready Floyd Okay, are you all ready? It's going to be a fairy tale, so you know how a fairy tale always starts. Do you know how a fairy tale starts? Once upon a time. You do know, that's all right. Um, so, once upon a time, there was an old man and an old lady, and they lived in a cottage up on a hill, and they were a little bit lonely. <gasps> oh, said the old man, I really wish we had a child. Well, said the old lady, I think that we can get a child by making one out of gingerbread. I know, right? So, she um she got some gingerbread, she rolled it all out, she got a little shape and she cut the shape into a little person shape. She put some raisins for eyes, a little tiny, tiny bit of orange peel for her mouth and some raisins for some buttons. Put it on a baking tray, put it in the oven. Well, she said as she sat down with the old man, in about 30 minutes, we will have a child. Admittedly, he'll be built out of gingerbread, but he'll be a child for us, no less. Oh, said the old man really excitedly. A little while later, they heard a... They looked around, just like Floyd is doing. Good acting. But they didn't see where the noise was coming from. A little, bit, a little bit later, <gasps> there was another knock. They went to answer the front door. There was no one at the front door. What could it be making this noise? Again, the old lady realised that it was coming from the oven. So she went over, she opened the oven, and as she opened it, out leapt the gingerbread boy. What? said the gingerbread man as he burst out of the oven. Why? Now, uh, my first job, I know, run away from you two. Do you know why? Uh, no, because I think you're going to eat me, said the gingerbread boy. And he, so he opened the front door and he started running down the path. He turned round and yelled, You can run, you can run as fast as you can, but you'll never catch me because I'm a gingerbread man. So... He started running down their path all the way down the hill. The old lady, she started chasing him with her baking tray. She was going to get him back on there to take him back home. The old man, he grabbed his coat, his hat, and he had a walking stick. And they were starting to walk down the hill. As well. oh, come back here, gingerbread man. So then they um, were chasing him down the hill. The gingerbread man came to a fence. He leant up against the fence. <laughs> he was out of breath. No sooner had he leant up against the fence, but he heard a... <laughs> he looked around, and towering above him was the face of a cow. Here, are you going to try and eat me as well? Said the gingerbread man. Me? <laughs> Said the cow, licking her lips. Try and eat a gingerbread man? 
Hmm. Well, you can try, but I'll tell you this. You'll never catch me. You can run, you can run as fast as you can, but you'll never catch me because I'm a gingerbread man. So, the gingerbread man took off again. Pew! At full pelt. The cow started chasing after him. The old woman was chasing after the cow. And the old man was chasing after the old woman. They were a sight as they all ran down the road. My goodness. See, the gingerbread man leant up against a hedge for a breather. (laughs) But then he heard a... He turned around and there was the biggest pink pig looking at him. Hello? said the pig. You look very delicious. Oh, not you as well, said the gingerbread man. So he turned around and he said, I'll tell you what, pig, you can run, run as fast as you can, but you'll never catch me because I'm a gingerbread man. And he ran off down the road. The pig started chasing him. The cow was still chasing him. The old woman was still chasing him. And oh man, he was just about at the bottom of the hill by now. Soon, the gingerbread man got to another wall (laughs) as he leant up against it. He turned around and there was a horse looking directly at him, licking his horsey lips. I suppose you want to eat me as well, dear? Well, you do look very, very tasty, said the horse. So the gingerbread man said, Oh, you and all. Well, you can run, run as fast as you can, but you will never catch me because I'm a gingerbread man. And he shot off down the road. The horse started galloping after him. The pig was chasing after him. The cow was lumbering after him. The old lady was coming after him. And the old man, he was just about where they'd found the cow by now. Oh my goodness, come back here, boy. Soon, the gingerbread man got to a stream. Now, I don't know if you've ever got a biscuit and put it in a drink before and seen what happens to the biscuit. It all goes... It goes soggy and it goes manky and it all falls to bits. The gingerbread man had a little bit of something about him. He knew that if he got in that stream, he would turn soggy, manky, go a little bit soft and fall to bits. Luckily, there was a rustling in the bushes nearby. Hello, gingerbread man. It was a fox. Gingerbread man, uh, would you like a ride across the stream? Uh, How do I know you're not going to eat me and all? Gingerbread man, I'm trustworthy. Please, get on my tail. So the gingerbread man got on the fox's tail and the fox started paddling across the stream. Soon, the tail started getting a little bit wet. Gingerbread man, I say, uh, why don't you get on my neck there? So the gingerbread man got on the fox's neck. Soon, his toes started getting wet on there as well. I say, gingerbread man, why don't you... uh, Why don't you sit on my nose? So the gingerbread man sat on the fox's nose. Sooner than later, the fox threw the gingerbread man up in the sky. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Four-leaf clover, my story is over. Okay, so... You've got some questions now, okay? I'm going to write these on, on in the description as well, okay? So I'll read them to you too. Year one, children, here is your question. And it's also written down below, okay? Hang on. Year one, children, what words would you use to describe the gingerbread man? They're called adjectives, describing words. What words would you use to describe the gingerbread man? And year one, give me some words that you would use to describe the fox, What words would you use to describe the gingerbread man and the fox? Year two, children. Your questions are, they're a bit longer. You're going to need to write sentences for these. Year two, children. How do you think that the gingerbread man felt when he burst out of that oven? Give me a sentence. How did you think he felt when he burst out of the oven? And then, how do you think the gingerbread man felt when he first met the fox, when the fox came out of those bushes? I'll write those underneath as well in the description, all right? Write them down for me. Send me a picture of them on the dojo, okay? Good luck. <laughs>